So now we know how we can actually put data into a post uh, request inside the body. So we're going to post, we're going to body, and now we want to send some information to the back end. Now, the way the REST API is built default is it expects you to send JSON to the back end. And right now, the way that the post request is in the code, it just expects a stupid string right now, just a simple data type of the type string right now, not an actual object. So I'll try and show you next lesson how we can put an object in here instead of a string. But let's first of all try to get a value in here actually from Postman. So I'm going into post again and body right here. So remember that post body and then you have to switch to raw data because I'm going to send a raw text to the back end, but not as text. I'm going to send a raw text as what we call JSON text because the back end will actually check if what you're sending it is JSON or XML or a normal text, it'll figure it out and it'll say, oh, oh that wasn't what I expected. I expected JSON because that's what our backend actually expects right now. So right now, we'll just the JSON will just look like this. We'll just add a simple high in here with, remember to put in the um, quotation marks around this guy and then we'll do a send. And hopefully we'll hit our breakpoint inside the code and there we go. And now we can actually see the value of high right here in our system. So we just made a request, a post request, where we actually pass some data to the backend, right? But this is kind of boring. Who wants to say send a single string again and again and again? Instead we want to send an entire object and that's also the power of JSON. JSON is actually JavaScript object notation. So it's for entire objects we can start sending over the wire. So next lesson we're just going to try and play around with switching this guy with the from body into an actual customer object and see how we can, how we can pass an entire customer object to the actual backend from Postman. So see you next time where we'll try to send some real data. I'll just let this continue and pretty much just show you guys that we got a status code 200. We didn't get anything back but we actually hit the method that we expected. Next time let's try and send a real object to the backend. See you next time.